What's up guys, this is another part of the beginner series and today we're gonna to be talking about, you guessed it, shotguns. Stay tuned. All right, so first up, Mossberg 500. Everybody knows about it. Now this actually does have a 28 inch barrel because I used to do waterfowl hunting. I was never a big shotgun guy to be honest. I'm more of a pistol caliber carbine guy, but that's okay. So the Mossberg 500 pump action shotgun, always in competition with the Remington 870. Now I've actually owned this gun for over 10 years and I have no complaints about it. It's fun to shoot, gets the job done. At the end of the day, it's a pump action shotgun. So you just got it, first one. On the back, this is gonna be your safety right here, called the Tang safety. Just a little flip of the switch. Red, fire, no red, no fire. So because shotguns don't always have a detachable box mag, they have a tube magazine where you feed your shells up through the bottom into this tube, which has a spring pushing against it, which then gives you the ability to load however many your capacity of the tube is. Six, seven, eight, whatever it may be. Let's say for whatever reason, you happen to chamber around. Now I didn't actually chamber one, but we're pretending I did. And you wanna know how to rack it back again because it's now locked. On what would be the left side of the gun right now, you have a button on the back right here. You're going to push that button while racking it. That would then eject your shell that you have in there. But yeah guys, that about sums it up. This is a really cool shotgun, it's fun to shoot. It does beat the crap out of your shoulder if you shoot it repeatedly, so be aware. But yeah, so we'll take a look at the other one next. So very similar, this is a Mossberg 935 with the Wetlands Camo. Now because this is so similar to the 500, same thing, tang safety on the back, red means fire, no red, no fire. Because this doesn't have the same locking mechanism with the button under here that the 500 does, you control the bolt. This is a really important part. You're at the range, haven't read the manual yet, grab a few 12 gauge shells, start loading them up into the tube, pull the bolt back like a normal gun would, on the 935, you have a little button right here. That is your bolt release. Keep your fingers clear of that when you hit it. That'll then close your bolt. You go to shoot, you think you got a gun that's ready, you pull the trigger and click. I'm telling you that from experience because I did the same thing. Loaded the tube up with a bunch of shells, racked it back, hit my button, closed it, thought I was ready to go. Shooting time rolls around and there's ducks on the water. We go to spook them and you hear a click. Racked it again. Click. That happened about four more times. And then I finally read the manual. The first time you are supposed to rack your bolt back, drop the shell in the injector port, then close it, then load your tube up. That is a very important part. You have to drop the shell in the side first. If you don't do that, you might have a lot of clicks on you. And again, I speak from experience. Once I learned that I had to just drop one in the side, I have no complaints, and that's why I own two of them. I am a Mossberg guy at the end of the day. You might be Remington or Winchester or whoever. It doesn't matter, because they're all pretty much the same at the end of the day. I don't recommend shotguns for home defense at all. I've always and always will said pistol caliber carbines, a nine millimeter carbine will do you just fine. But some people like shotguns, so do your thing. But uh, be safe about it. Be safe about what you're shooting, what you're shooting at, and what's on the other side of that wall. If this video helped you out, be sure to click that like and subscribe button so you can stay tuned for future videos that might also help you out. And until next time, stay safe.